The Audion ASP880 and Evo SP8 are both 19-inch rack-mountable 8-channel microphone preamps with ADAT connectivity. The ASP880 hosts Audion's flagship microphone preamps, while its cheaper sibling hosts the much newer and cost-effective Evo preamps. Both have very unique features, but I need to sell one of them after I've made this video. Find out which one at the end. Hi, I'm Ed from edthorn.com, here to help you make the most out of your home studios. Welcome to the channel. The ASP880 is the more expensive brother to the ASP800 and features variable impedances on each preamp. I've recorded a drum loop with each impedance setting, low, mid, and high, so you can hear the difference for a reason that will make sense in a moment. So in my studio recording drums, I settled on the medium impedance for the kick, low for the snare, and high for the cymbals and overheads. So here's another take with that combination for what I think are the optimal settings for this preamp. And I'm gonna use these settings for the comparison with the SP8 later to give the best representation of the ASP. To make this comparison as fair as possible, I'm doing two things. Firstly, I'm sending the digital ADAT signal from each preamp rack to my computer through the Evo 16 audio interface via an optical TOSLink ADAT cable. Both the ASP and SP8 can be connected this way. So the Evo 16 is merely a data transfer device in this scenario. The conversion of the audio is happening on each device. So something to consider here is that we're not simply comparing the preamps. The conversion quality of each unit will also contribute to the overall sound quality of each device. But I think this will be negligible. Also, there's no way around this, so we don't have a choice. And secondly, to set up the gains, I've utilized Smart Gain on the SP8, which automatically detects the input signal on each channel and sets the gain to record at an RMS or an average of minus 18 decibels in your DAW. This is perfect level for mixing. I've matched the input gains of the ASP880 to the Smart Gain measurements on the SP8. As you can see in Logic, there's been no processing applied to any of this audio other than the Melder Productions M Auto Align for phase alignment between the eight microphones. This plugin rules. Check out the video and the purchase link in the description below. So th the difference between the two is really subtle. I dare say I think there's a tiny bit more clarity in the top end on the ASP880, and I think that's due to the, the high impedance setting. So this is where that feature could be valuable. Now across the board, I also feel like there's a tiny bit more depth to the sound on the on the audio on the ASP880. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I also think the ASP880 has a very slight texture to it. I know from recording drums with it before, you can push the gains a little bit and get a little bit more saturation and the audience preamps have a very distinct texture to them. Now why I haven't um, demonstrated the saturation between the two preamps is because recording drums in the studio on my own, going back and forth to set the gains right to get the right amount of input gain on the ASP as it was, 
is a ball eight compared to using the SP8 when you just play for 20 seconds and that's it, your gains are set. So to then do it again and try and get the right level of saturation on each microphone was gonna be a pain in the ass, so quite frankly, I couldn't be bothered. However, like I said, the saturation on the ASP does give quite a nice texture. Now for critical listening of this audio outside of YouTube, high resolution copies of these audio files are available to download for free from the members area of my website, which is free to join. And on there you'll get other perks like downloadable drum loops, you could even use this one in your music for free, just give us a tag on social media, gear guides and various audio files from lots of other videos. So which mic pre do you prefer the sound of? Let me know in the comments below. The ASP880 features send and return D sub 25 connectors for routing the preamp audio out and back in for external processing. For example, through outboard compressors and EQs. These D sub inputs also facilitate the ASP to be used as a standalone conversion unit for other preamps. The ASP also features a 10 decibel pad and phase switches. The first two channels on both preamps are combination XLR and jack inputs with audience JFET DI circuitry. Now the SP8 also hosts eight line outs for routing audio out of your DAW through external analog hardware for processing. But in what I believe is an industry first, you can route the inputs on the preamps directly straight out of the interface through whatever hardware you want to use and then back into either the same interface or into another interface such as the Evo 16. So for example, you could record four channels through four, your four mic pre's, send four channels out through the line outs and then go back in through the other four inputs to record those four channels and have that audio fully processed. Or you could record all eight inputs, all eight outputs into the Evo 16. This is as simple as simply selecting analog or digital for the outputs on the, on the SPA. So this combination of ADA inputs and outputs and the ability to send the analog inputs as the outputs makes this a very cost-effective IO expansion unit. The motion UI screen on the SP8 and EVO 16 also make for very easy signal monitoring. For a full review of the EVO 16 and demonstration of smart gain in use, check out this video. So which unit am I going to sell? Well, it's a tough decision because the audience preamps are really good quality. But as I alluded to earlier in the video, the convenience of setting gains for 16 channels simultaneously without having to run back and forth, record a take, tweak the gains, go back, you know, trial and error based recording. It's a real ball ache, to be honest. But with the Evo 16 and the SP8, I can do that in 20 seconds with smart gain. It's just, it is a game, it's a game changer. <laughs> Yes, the ASP A80 is a great sounding preamp. The variable impedance is a useful feature and it really brings out that sparkle in the top end. But in terms of the rest of the sonic differences, I'm inclined to say that for me recording in my own, the convenience of auto gain outweighs those tiny differences. What do you think? Again, let me know in the comments. Also, the ASP A80 is nine years old and I suspect Audient may be releasing a new version soon. I don't think it'll be this year because it makes sense to maximize sales of the SP8, but I'm predicting NAM 24 for the release of a new model, maybe even with smart gain incorporated on the flagship Audient preamps. Now that would be something. For a full review and ADAT setup tutorial of the SP8, watch this video here. I've been Ed Thorne, it's been emotional. Thanks for watching.